guys welcome back to my channel I am so happy to have you guys back in today's video I want to quickly show you on how you can create this amazing unique diamond shape center piece it's actually pretty easy to do you're just going to need a few items to put it together so you're going to need this miter saw box so I purchased this box from uh, Lowe's you can also purchase it at Home Depot so it wasn't expensive right? I believe it was like $10 I purchased it for and um, the reason for the purchase was because the materials that I was going to be using is these wooden dials okay these wooden dials I'm going to be cutting a couple of pieces off um, in a certain way so that I can get my centerpiece to look like a diamond shape so I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate it to you on how you're gonna go ahead and do that. It's actually my first time using this miter box. I'm probably gonna have my husband help me. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take you on to the next step. Thank you so much you guys for tuning in. I really appreciate you guys. Stay tuned throughout this whole video. Uh, first, I wanna start off by saying, be absolutely careful when using this tool. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just take it out of the, the shelving that it's in. There's a little lock thing right here. You take it out. And then now I'm going to go ahead and proceed and taking the saw, carefully taking the saw out. Once I take that out, and then you're going to take the wrapping off. So I'm going to use this as my driver to help me cut this piece of wood at the angle that I want it to be cut. Instead of me doing it myself, sometimes when you do it yourself, it can be crooked or not be the way you would like for it to be, but this be better help guide you, okay? So use this as a guide. So you will also need a pen to mark and highlight where you would like to cut. So now, as you can see, I'm taking my four woods. I'm going to show you how I'm aligning it, which I'm trying to align it as a, a diamond shape. But the thing is, is that my diamond is too long so I'm trying to make it a little shorter and that's one of the, part of the reason why I want to cut the wood to make the wood a little bit shorter but once you start figuring out the length and the width of how you want your diamond um, centerpiece to look so you're gonna go ahead and mark it because you want to be able to know where exactly you're going to be cutting okay, mark it down here you use your pen to mark it and now once I've marked one of my piece of wood, I'm just going to take the other piece of wood and just mark them side to side because that is my guide to where I'm going to be cutting all four of the piece of my wooden dowels. This is my piece of wood that I've already went ahead and marked. Now I'm going to go ahead and place it in the miter cutter. Now you want to place it in an area where you're going to be able to get a straight cut with your saw, with your hand saw. Okay? So my cut is going to start from here. So you're definitely going to need some manpower to help you do this. Next, you're going to repeat the same process with all of your pieces of wood. Now that I'm done cutting all my pieces of wood, what I'm going to go ahead and do is line them up like this. So now I'm just shaping my woods to look like a diamond shape. And then I'm going to go ahead and mark where I want to cut. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take my pen and do a, a slanted line. So, mark it right here, slanted. So, and I'm also gonna mark it right here, slanted. And I'm also gonna mark it right here, slanted. Okay, now once you're done, we're gonna go ahead and cut again. Okay. So now I'm going to take my piece of wood, as you can see, okay, you're going to place it inside the meter and then you're going to position your hand saw in one of the slanted slots. So you have slots that you can cut straight and you have slots that you can cut diagonally. So this is going to be my diagonal cut. Okay. 
as you can see it's already started to cut diagonally and this is how you basically want it to look and now you're just going to repeat the same process for all of your dowels okay guys now that I am done cutting my wooden dowel slanted with my miter cutter I wanted to quickly let you guys know that the pieces of wood that you have left over from the wood that you've already cut off I highly suggest you hold on to these pieces of wood because we are going to be using one of those pieces of wood for the base of your center piece. You're going to use the clear Gorilla Glue to bond together your wooden dowels. So now exactly how you're going to do it. I kind of already had it positioned on how I want to glue them together. So this is going to be your number one um, wood right here. And then you take your number two wood and then you place it like that at the tip. And then I'm going to take number three. So I take my number three and I'll put it right here. And then you have the number four, which you're going to take it and put it on the inside. Okay, so for the next step, what you're going to need is a wooden plaque. Now, this wooden plaque is what you're going to be using for your base to get your diamond shape, you know, centerpiece to stand on its own. Okay, so this is how it's going to look when it's dry. Let it dry overnight if you have to. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get it to stand like this on my plaque. You're going to need to cut a piece towards the end right here because you want the bottom of your diamond to be straight. And the reason why you need it straight is because this is how you're going to get it to stand. If it's still slanted, then you're not going to be able to get it to stand on its own and it won't stand straight. So what I did to cut out that small little piece was use my handsaw and I cut like a small little piece out to get it to stand straight. Guys, so this is a close look. So I kind of had to change it a little bit on how I am going to establish the bottom. So what I did is... I had my husband um, drill in, like I told you guys before, a piece of this wood to be at the bottom. So I drill it in first with a nail. You want to make sure that whatever nail you use is a pretty long nail. Right here. So like I showed you, I just nailed it in. I did decide to glue it down as well with my Gorilla Glue to make sure that I'm getting that really strong hold. And now it can actually stand on its own with just that little piece of wood that I add at the bottom. The next step will be to add my centerpiece onto this plaque. My centerpiece is definitely going to need more support in order for it to stand up straight and not tilt over. I'm going to use two nails. So you can... So you definitely have to determine on the width and the size that you want your centerpiece to be. So I'll leave that option totally up to you on the size and on the width. So definitely trust your judgment. Use a ruler to help you make sure you're measuring your centerpiece correctly and that you're cutting it correctly as well. So this is definitely a project that you might need assistance with. I would say for my centerpiece, it's about two feet tall. is I'm gonna go ahead and hang these beautiful globes I'm gonna hang two of them so I suggest you using a fishing line to hang these beautiful globes onto your centerpiece however since I don't have the fishing line I will be using some gold strings and it's just a plain simple gold string I will be using to hang my globes but I do suggest you using a fishing line to complete the look So 
Okay guys, so as you can see, I have a couple of recommendations for you when putting this centerpiece together. Now, first recommendation is you wanna make sure that when you are gluing your pieces of wooden dowels together, you wanna make sure that you are wiping them off as you're putting them, cause you do not want any like leftover residue left like that, like how you see right here um, along the arms of the along the arms of the centerpiece. Remember, a little bit of glue goes a long way. Second recommendation, the centerpiece is a size, is the size of a rhombus or a diamond shape. As you know, a rhombus has all equal sides. So that's definitely something you need to keep in mind. So you wanna make sure that all four of your wooden dowels, that when you cut it, all the woods are even out in length. <music> 